My Racing are going to cover the ITV7 for you in two minutes or less. So let's get cracking. We start off at Ascot in the 150. We've got a mayor's race there and we're going to side with a Paul Nichols trained If You Say Run. Now she was beaten by the classy Mia's Storm last time out, but she can go one better on Saturday. 205 Haydock. We've got a trial for the Supreme Novice Hurdle at Cheltenham and it can go the way of the Nicky Henderson trained Mr Fisher. Now this horse is held in very high regard at Seven Barrows and he's now starting to show why. 225 at Ascot, they've got a handicap hurdle there and we like the chances of Ballymoy. Now this horse has already won five of his last six starts but we believe he can go in again despite carrying top weight on Saturday. 240 Haydock, well they've got what's supposedly a champion hurdle trial at 240. I don't imagine any of these will be winning that race in March though. We're going to side with Silver Streak. He's a consistent sort, ran very well behind brain power at Cheltenham last time out. Okay, the three o'clock at Ascot. Now this is a handicap chase and it can go the way of Jerry's back. He ran a very eye-catching race at Ascot last time out, finished second and can go one better on Saturday. The 3.15 at Haydock, the Peter Marsh chase. Well, this can go the way of Valtor, who was ultra impressive when winning on his debut here. He's come over from France. He absolutely dotted up at Ascot last time out, and he can follow up again in the Peter Marsh chase. OK, then we finish off the 3.35 at Ascot with the machine that is Altior. Now, obviously, this horse won't be backable. He's about 1 to 8 currently as we speak unopposable but he should win the last there so hope you enjoy all the action on itv4 on saturday and let's hope we've bagged you a few winners there as well